to hide, but now you know it. That I'm at an all time. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, KK, and welcome back to another episode of Coherent SMP. Today I am here at my house, and there is some trash floating behind me there. Um, but anyway, I, oops, have done a lot. Oh my god, I can't, it's F5, that's how you get out of third person mode. Anyway, I've done a lot of stuff off camera. Um, I've got a whole bunch of diamonds, and I've got seven wither skulls. I'm gonna try to get, um, like two more so I can spawn three withers during the the apocalypse, which I have been preparing for, but I've also been preparing for some other things. Um, oh, what, what, what was I going to show you? Oh yeah, well, this is more about the apocalypse. I have a lot of potions, um, and I also have uh, fire resistance potions and three lava buckets, so I can, you know, go in and just throw lava buckets at them, and all the fire resistance are named Kamikaze, which is kind of ironic because I will survive, but whatever. Um, in this... Wait, which chest is it? This chest? Yeah. This chest has some stuff in it that I will go into in a little bit, and it has to do with what has been put in my backyard by an individual known as the Diamond Redstoner, and you, if you don't know him, uh, he is a new member to the SMP. So this is kind of like a happyish, saddish thing, you know, because, you know, well, it's not really sad, it's more of like a happy, angry thing, because it's got obsidian on the edges, right? But it's got quartz, which is a really valuable block, so I'm actually going to put that back. Um... It's put in my back backyard, and it's the it's an Easter prank. It says Happy Easter from Diamond Redstoner, and he has his chest. I saw this, have not read it yet, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. So let's pull it out. Hint one: I assume this is a treasure hunt, and I'll be hunting for something. Um, hi, cake. So Easter is around the corner, so I made a little scavenger hunt for you. It's a, actually a treasure hunt. A scavenger hunt is where you hunt for a bunch of different items. Treasure hunt is where you find a bunch of clues that lead you to one item. Hope you find the eggs. Oh, maybe this is a scavenger hunt. I don't know. Easter, Easter, it is here. Can you find the eggs? They are near. Up high in the sky, maybe low down below. Will you find it? I don't know. It could be anywhere. Where will you choose? Maybe it's hidden in coherent news. Would, mm, that's a tough one. Coherent news. First, I'm going to check my podcast studio. Uh... It said it could be up high, though. Maybe that means it's on my... Oh, it's in my podcast studio. Yes, I was right. Okay, so first, I haven't had needed to cut yet. I haven't done anything too extreme. Oh, yes. I, I never finished those audio bar things. Maybe I can do that still. Maybe I'll film another uh, uh, coherent news video. I don't know. Anyway, good job, good job. Indeed. Where is the next hint that you will need? You're probably jumping around. Jumping around with glee. But where is the next hint? Maybe with me? Does he have, like... A slime that lives with him? Okay. Let me head over through the nether. The nether is pretty much destroyed at this point. There's been so many ghasts just fireballing the nether repeatedly, and it's just so destroyed. Let me show you guys. Anyway, there used to be wood all over here. Oh no, I think I think Bun Bun added that to keep ghasts from spawning. Oh! He fixed this while I was offline, like two hours ago. Huh. It's crazy. Anyway, this leads to Diamond's portal, so let's go over there. Four cake, hint three. What does it say? X marks the spot. Oh, does that have to do with this? Great, you found it, but you need a key to unlock the majestic Easter egg of beauty. Keep sheep, chicken, cow, pig to find the egg you will need to dig. Okay, I don't know what that had to do with sheep, chicken, cow, pig, but I'm <clears throat> going down here. Place key here. Okay. Oh, here's the key. It's a, oh, it's just a stick called key. Key. Hello, stick key. That was pretty simple, I guess. Maybe that was... Is that really the key? Crack table. Maybe it's not. Who knows? <gasps> I got a majestic Easter egg of beauty. What do I do now? It's a nice... It's a nice room. <laughs> nice room. Um, but what do I do with that? And let me Let me read this hint again. Hint three. You will to unlock the majestic Easter egg of beauty. Was that is that the third thing? Was that the third and final thing? Is this my reward? Tis a 
I hope you find the eggs. Is, is, is it just this one egg? I mean, that's kind of cool, but I like it. Kind of want to see if I can spawn a chicken with it. I guess that's it. I think. But now that we're at Diamond's house, actually, I need to go back to my house first. But I want to tell you guys what I have planned. This is Diamond's house. And since he pranked me, and I mean, that was a fun prank, but he did put an obsidian Easter bunny in my backyard. So, I don't know, dude. Uh, as I recall, I'm pretty sure, when you place down glass, it's not affected by efficiency on your pickaxe. Let me see if I can demonstrate this somehow. Anything. Yeah, it didn't seem to be affected by my efficiency on my pickaxe. It, it did break pretty quickly, but um, if you had to break a lot of them, it seems like it could be a little annoying. Do you guys see where I'm going here? Anyway, what I'm going to do... Uh, I'll, I'll explain it to you when I get back, but... You'll see. It's, it will be it will be perfect. It will be the perfect crime. Okay, so I went out and got all the ingredients. Oh, never mind. Okay, now I have all the ingredients I need. I forgot the milk needed to go in the buckets. Anyway, now I'm going to craft this into a cake. I think I need to actually put the milk atop the rest of the ingredients in there. Yeah, there we go. Got a cake. Oh, I didn't... I just unlocked that on Cakehead. How did I just unlock that? Anyway, now we're going to rename it. I have this copied, and then we're going to rename it to... That was the name of the egg. We've now got the Majestic Easter Cake of Beauty instead of the egg. So we're going to give this to Diamond Redstoner, as well as all of this stuff that I have in my inventory. So I have all this glass, and what I'm going to do is make his house into a rave zone. It's going to be... It's gonna be legit. I'm gonna go to his base and I'm gonna make it a rave place. And then, I'll show you, well, no, I, I can tell you guys. Um, I'm gonna put a bunch of sheep inside of his house. Actually, I'm gonna need a lot of wheat for that, so that sucks, because I don't have a lot of wheat. But anyway, I'm gonna go to his house and get a whole bunch of sheep, and they're all gonna be like different colored sheep, you know, because it's, it's gotta be a rave. And he's gonna have a Easter rave with this cake of beauty. So yeah, I'm gonna go over to his house and do that and then I'll be right back okay so I've arrived at uh, the house of the diamond redstone okay and I have a whole bunch of stuff this weed is for breeding sheep and I'm just gonna st uh, start by I only got five glowstone so I don't know what to do um, but yeah I need to exchange out my entire inventory for this glass because I have nine different colors and they're all bright and vibrant, and they will be the rave colors that I will place around Diamond Redstone's house. And I'm just gonna uh, just scroll through them, I guess. Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, okay. It doesn't matter. We'll just keep scrolling through them and just place them all around his house, and you know, have a great time, having a great time over here, just placing some glass and I will speed this up hopefully because it's not extremely fast or fun to watch I, me do in real time so um yeah speed it up speed that ish up now
Okay, so <clears throat> I finished, and something very interesting happened right here, where every time I came by, the pattern would repeat itself pretty much from right here. So that's kind of interesting. I'm um, going to just place down some glowstone. Actually, I'll do that later. I kind of want to put it under the glass, and I needed my silk touch, which I don't even know if I have a silk touch. But that has been finished. Now all I need to do is get some sheep in here and start breeding them. And, you know, I'll get them all colored with all these there's gonna be a lot of you know I think I'll cut that in half actually because there's just so much blue uh, it's just not really gonna it's just too much because I have so much lapis so um, I'm going to oh I can't get in um, I'm gonna have to break this because I don't want to break any of the glass I want to leave the glass for him to break I'm just gonna put that back when I get out um let's leave a chest in here and it will be this. I'll use this birch wood, which I always carry on me because birch wood is an ugly wood and it's just useful for uh, making wooden items that are not decorative because it's really ugly and nobody likes birch wood. Uh, unless you're weird, then you like birch wood. Anyway, putting the sign on this chest, it says, uh, You have been pranked. And I don't think I need to leave any uh, note to who it was because that will pretty much tell him what who it did it. Anyway, I'm going to go collect some sheep, put them in there, and then I'll be back. Well, guys, uh, trying to get the sheep here has been a minor nightmare. And I was not able to do it because I died in the nether, and so did both of my sheep. <clears throat> so that sucked. Um... And I lost my bow and my leather chest plate, and I'm a little bit more pissed about the leather chest plate. Like, dude, how am I gonna need another one? Uh, but yeah, I lost my bow, which is really good, and now I have to get a new one. But anyway, um, I think I've successfully pranked Diamond. I got into his house through here, so that's why. I, I was being attacked by mobs. So there we go. I fixed it. Um, so uh, yeah, I have. I think he's gonna, you know, still get the gist. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put actually another sign. I want to make him know, I want him to know that it's a wraith, you know, because it could just be like, you know, colorful glass for no reason at all. It needs to be a rave, and that's why I'm going to put this next sign down that says, enjoy the rave. Anyway, that's it for this episode of the Coherent SIP. Oh, goodbye. Oh, I couldn't say goodbye. Well, whatever. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to Cake Place. Your game, leave him a gusto if you enjoy. Take it off.